Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo, and in this video I am going to go over layer masks. Now, layer mask is a very important part of my workflow, and for any digital artist, I think it's a very important thing to know. And what layer mask is, is just a way of hiding certain areas of an image. So for instance, let's go ahead and look at this image here. I'm going to duplicate this layer, Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac, and we'll just make a duplicate of the background layer. I'm going to hide the background layer so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. And now what we're going to do is select the eraser tool. We're going to use the eraser tool to erase this background here. Now I'm going to start erasing the background here because I don't like the background. I find it too distracting. So I'm just going to go ahead and go erase everything from the background and just remove it all out. Now I'm not going to be perfect but I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about here by just erasing everything we see and we're gonna leave it we're just gonna erase a little bit here but we're gonna leave it right there now that we have the background erased or some of it this is not perfect I, I don't want to be perfect it's gonna take me way too much time to be perfect we can't get that back we erased it and we took that out of the image so we can't get that back of the image if you want it and by using layer mask we can do just that we can bring it back so let's go ahead and delete this layer and then we'll have our background we'll duplicate this layer again and what we're gonna do is add a layer mask you can go down here add layer mask on the bottom here or you can go into layer and add a layer mask from here by clicking the reveal all layer mask and now what we're gonna do is we're going to erase this background again but we're not gonna use the eraser tool we're gonna use the paintbrush tool this time I'm gonna want to make sure that the paintbrush tool is set to black and make sure we have our layer mask collected and just start painting into the background and it will do the exact same thing as the eraser tool by erasing the background from our image and I'll stop right there now if I wanted that background back I can do that unlike the eraser tool I can go into my color palette here make sure my color is on white and then I can start painting back the background again if I wanted the background back now that's the good thing about using layer mask because you can hide and reveal the image just by using black or white paintbrush color so that's really all there is to know about layer mask layer masking is just the way of hiding and revealing portions of the image that you want or don't want so now that you know a little bit about layer mask I'm gonna show you a few tips here um, but before we do I'm gonna go ahead and just do an erase I'm gonna erase the background again just a little bit here and I'm gonna show you something here you can see here the layer mask and it's being filled in right here with black and there's a good way of actually viewing it on a PC if you click if you hold the alt key on a Mac it's option and you click on the layer mask at the same time you will get this image this is basically the layer mask so you can see where we painted in black and what's left is white and now what we can do here is over here I have another window here this is a actual layer mask that I spent some time on or a lot of time on to create and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all I'm gonna copy it and then go back to our layer mask here and I'm gonna paste it into the layer mask and what that does is paste the black and the white area into the layer mask and what that gives us if you click the eyeball tool it gives us a nice mask around our tiger and it removes all the background and now that we remove the background we wanna put in another background so I have another background here for us pretty cool background here I'm gonna select all here copy it and then I'm gonna paste it into this window now this is gonna be on top of the layer here so you you won't be able to see the tiger we will move it underneath the tiger and then we have our background for our tiger alright and if for some reason we want the background back all we gotta do is click on our tiger layer click on the layer mask and we want to use the white paintbrush tool or we'll use the paintbrush and we'll want to use white color and this will reveal our background 
but we don't want that so I'm just gonna go ahead and click undo now I'm gonna show you another trick see this grass here it's not completely green there are some white areas here but we're gonna make it completely green so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our tiger layer here we're gonna go up to the layers window here and we're going to select a new adjustment layer the U and saturation and we're gonna make sure use previous layer is checked click OK and it will add a layer adjustment the hue and saturation adjustment onto our tiger layer next we're going to click colorize and this will colorize our tiger now we're gonna make this green so we're gonna move our hue up to right around the green area here maybe bring up the saturation a little bit we darken it up a tad too and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this layer mask here for the hue and saturation layer we're gonna click on that and we don't want it to affect our tiger so we're gonna paint black into there select the paintbrush tool select the black color and we're just gonna paint right in there and that will bring our color back for our white tiger but then we'll leave the grass green and now we can do the before and after here so that's before and that's after now I'm probably gonna wanna adjust the color a little bit just to make it look a little nicer so let me go ahead and adjust it a little bit here and that looks pretty good so we see the before and the after and I'm probably gonna wanna bring the opacity on that just a little bit just to make it a little more natural I think 50% looks pretty good so so that's before and this is after now that we have that I'm gonna wanna darken the overall image a little bit so we're gonna add another adjustment layer here we're gonna add a levels adjustment layer and we're just gonna leave it the way it is we won't check use previous layer because we wanna affect all the layers we're gonna click OK and now we have our adjustment settings here we're just gonna make it a little darker and that looks pretty good um, what I'm going to want to do is bring back luminosity in the tiger. We don't want the tiger as dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the paintbrush tool, use the black again, and make sure we have our layer mask selected. And we're going to change the opacity of our paintbrush to 20%. This way we don't completely make it too white, but we're just going to make it just bright enough so that our tiger is a little brighter than the rest of the image so I'm just gonna go ahead and just paint around here and then we will click on this so this is before and this is after so next I'm gonna wanna brighten up the face of the tiger I'm also gonna wanna bring out the eyes of a tiger so that it'll look a lot nicer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate all the layers here we're gonna hit the control alt shift E command shift E or command alt shift E on a Mac control alt shift E on a PC and this will create a composite layer of our image so that when we click on the screen we're gonna change the mode here this is our composite layer and we're gonna select the screen mode and this will brighten our image up a little bit we don't want all of the image bright we just want the face and the eyes so let's go ahead and zoom in here and then I'm going to create a layer mask and then we will click control I on a PC command I on a Mac and it will fill in our layer mask in black and black hides everything so it's gonna hide all our image on this layer and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the white paintbrush tool so we're gonna select the paintbrush tool and we're gonna use the white color I think uh, opacity at 20 percent should be good and we're just going to paint around the face of the tiger here just to brighten the tiger's face up a little and then we're going to make our paintbrush a little smaller about 50 and we're just gonna paint right in the eyes of the tiger 
Actually, we're going to go straight to 100% here and just paint right in the eyes here. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so this is before and this is after. So I'm going to zoom out here and before and after. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to brighten up the body of the tiger a little bit here. I'm going to select the paintbrush tool and I'm going to go to 200% and maybe 25% on the opacity. Let's go ahead and go up to oh, a little big there. Let's go to 500, 500 pixels here. That looks good. And make sure the layer mass is selected. We're going to just paint in the body of the tiger just to brighten them up even more. And that looks good. Um, next, we're going to add some contrast to our tiger. So we're going to do that with a levels adjustment layer. So go into the layers here and we will select. Actually, we'll just do brightness and contrast. I like using levels, but let's do something a little different. Let's go ahead and use brightness and contrast. And we will click OK. And then we're just going to play around with the brightness and contrast. We're just going to focus on the tiger. Don't worry about the background or anything else. And this is before and this is after. So that looks good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inverse this layer and make everything black again and then we're going to go into the paintbrush tool select the white paintbrush and we're going to make the paintbrush a little bigger and just start painting back in that contrast for our tiger and I think that looks good so this is that was before and this is after adds just a little more contrast there and I'm just gonna add make the paintbrush bigger I'm just gonna add even more contrast around the whole image here going to go down to about 10% actually. And just kind of paint around this whole area. Maybe make the paintbrush a little bigger. And this is our layer mask here. You can see the, uh, the little white, the little black here. So I'm just going to paint around and that looks pretty good um, I'm gonna probably probably want to do another levels layer layer adjustment so we're gonna go ahead and add another levels layer adjustment here and this should be it after this alright that looks pretty good I'm just gonna leave it right there okay so that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna keep going and finish this photo off but I think you kinda get the idea of how I use layer masks to create my photos so keep working at it and using layer mask and you'll be a Photoshop guru in no time.